Hello, thank you for joining me on this class. Function of a function. The function y equal to 2x plus 1 raised to power 3 is a function of 2x plus 1, which in turn is a function of x. More specifically, y is the cube of the function 2x plus 1. We say that y is a function of a function in this case. Also, in y equal to sine x squared, y is a sine of the function x squared, and so is another example of a function of a function. Now, we are going to look at examples on how to differentiate function of a function. The first example is to differentiate y with respect to x if y is equal to x squared minus 5 or raised to the power 4. Now let's see the solution. In this case, we are going to make a substitution. We are going to say let u be equal to x squared minus 5. You can use any letter of your choice. It mustn't be u. So if u is equal to x squared minus 5, we will now have y is equal to u to the fourth power. Then the next thing to do will be to find the derivative of y with respect to u and also find the derivative of u with respect to x. So dy du will be equal to 4u cubed, and du dx is equal to 2x. But dy dx will be equal to the product of the two derivatives, that is, dy du multiplied by du dx. We call this the chain rule. Now we are going to substitute the values for the two derivatives into this chain rule. That will be dy dx is equal to 4u cubed multiplied by 2x. 4u cubed is the derivative of y with respect to u, while 2x is the derivative of u with respect to x. So if we multiply that, we will have 8x u cubed. Now we have to go back to our substitution. You remember that we made a substitution at the beginning. We said that u should be equal to x squared minus 5. So we have to substitute back that value into our solution. So if we do that, we will have dy dx is equal to 8x into x squared minus 5 all raised to the third power. So that's our result for the derivative of y with respect to x. Now we have another example. Differentiate y with respect to x if y is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. So we will find a solution to that now. y is a function given to us and it is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. So we can express it as y equal to 1 minus x squared all raised to power half. The power half is just another way of writing the square roots. So we will also make a substitution here. We will say let u be equal to 1 minus x squared. That means y will now be equal to the square root of u, or u raised to power half. So we are going to differentiate y with respect to u. If we do that, we will have dy du is equal to half times u raised to power half minus 1. So that will be half u raised to power minus half.
and if we if we simplify it we will write it as dy du is equal to 1 over 2 root u then we will now differentiate u with respect to x don't forget that u is a function of x u is equal to 1 minus x squared so if we differentiate u with respect to x we will have du dx is equal to minus 2x now we can apply the chain rule dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx so the value for dy du is 1 over 2 root u and the value for du dx is minus 2x if we multiply those two we will have minus 2x over 2 root u we can see that we have 2 on the numerator and also on the denominator so the 2 will cancel out and we'll be left with minus x over root u since u is equal to 1 minus x squared we will now have dy dx is equal to minus x over one my root one minus x squared so that's a derivative of y with respect to x now we have a third example to find y prime if y is equal to x squared minus 5 all raised to power 4 you can recall that this is the same function we had in the first example this is the first function we differentiated now we can differentiate this function without making a substitution we can do it in a shorter way without making a substitution and applying the chain rule we can do it directly and uh, this is how to do it our uh, y is equal to x squared minus 5 raised to power 4 then the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be 4 times x squared minus 5 raised to power 4 minus 1 multiplied by now we would differentiate the expression in the brackets if we differentiate the expression in the bracket we will have 2x raised to power 2 minus 1 so that's why we have here 4 times x squared minus 5 raised to power 4 minus 1 multiplied by 2x raised to power 2 minus 1 so if we simplify this we will have y prime is equal to 8x into x squared minus 5 all raised to the third power and this is the same result that we got in the first example so you can agree with me that this is a shorter way of differentiating the function of a function now you can try this on your own this is an exercise find the derivative with respect to x of y equal to 6x to power 4 plus x cubed minus 2x all raised to power 2. try this and thank you for watching this video Please don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so.